Hey guys, we're back with some more Ogre Battle, and today we're going to finish the Delma Desert. Uh, the enemies are defeated, everything should be alright. I decided to make uh, Elisa my other princess unit there. Just basically turning Elisa into a princess. <laughs> she didn't actually do any fighting, even though she came out and like nobody attacked her. I was like, oh man. This is a uh, unit that's going to defeat the boss there. It's the princess unit with the dragoons in it. You will see how powerful they are. But yeah, um, there are let me count about four treasures on this map, and I think only one actual hidden town. Thankfully, Kenopus found one right away. We get a Hulu sword. Kind of reminds me of. You know, with something I saw on TV. No, it doesn't. That was a stupid joke. Can't watch TV on the sword. I'm sorry. All right. The hidden town is in this general area up here. I honestly couldn't tell you how long. This is what that is what Elise is actually going to be doing. She's going to go find, try to find that town. Hope. Thanks, game. Hopefully, she finds it. If not, well, pfft. I'm not going to spend too long out there after it. No, I do not. Ninjas. Well, yeah, that's kind of what they do. Oh. So he's a ninja who doesn't... Oh, wait. Ah. Uh, I was hoping there might be, uh... What is he? Uh, crystal balls in this stage? But, no. Let's see if I can find this. I'm gonna start by going, I guess, here? Go near the only thing that looks like it's a landmarker. I'm, a, I'm trying to save my boots, which is why, you know, Helene is walking her way up there. But. I don't... I could have them liberate things because since the leader is the princess and the princess gained levels by killing things that were... I think she was 16, they were killing 3, 4 above her, her alignment went through the roof. But Fogel being, you know, the super badass he apparently is, his alignment actually went down because he was killing things that were below him. So he's kind of sucking it up right now. That is like wonderful. Wait, no, that's Helene. Never mind. But now that Helene is here, it means Warren can go back. Hopefully, he gets back before the next day, so I can get. So I don't have to pay for him. It won't take very long to get to that day. Come on, Warren, you can make it. There's, I think it's maybe ten seconds between when the sun gets to the top of the screen and when actual noon is please please make it please make it no we didn't make it oh well I gained some money not a whole lot but some then can almost found another town uh, with the they're, they're the bad cards bad cards. Man. Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get rid of him. Don't worry about it. Um, get this temple. Yes, I do. <clears throat> this map is fairly big, but. The towns are actually not that many. I mean, there are plenty of smaller maps that have a lot of towns in them. Because I probably say this map is big, this map is that, and then I'm, probably all the maps are like the same size. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, temples for the rest of the game aren't going to say anything important. They're generally just going to have a generic statement that one. You, know, you go to one, it says it. You go to another one, it says it. Uh, it's kind of weird. So it's almost like, this is the end of the game, they, or it, it's technically the Empire. But actually, the thing about it is that... Uh, the monks 
in the temples should be, like, the most pissed about the Empire. They just should. So, like, you know, the monks should stop, shouldn't, should be, you know, continuously encouraging me and trying to give me things to help out now that we're getting close to the end, but... Gizalfi? Oh. Far to the east here, the city of Aliabard? Oh. We will be finding that. Of course, being, you know, that he's a special character living in a, in a town, the town's gotta be hidden, you know, in the middle of a freaking desert. Oh, at least he didn't find it. Wonderful. Uh, trying to find any kind of... So, okay, I went directly north of that and didn't find it. Let's try up here. Because the desert on this, the map that I'm looking at is, you know, a kind of weird gray color. And the the towns that are hidden are supposed to have a little white... Ooh, I found a carrot board. The, the hidden towns that have a little white dot next to them, it's almost impossible to see this dot. Okay, we got that. Um, there should be... The next, next treasure should be right about there. Yeah, there's one treasure hidden on an island, the rest are all in the middle of the desert. Thanks, game. Uh, if I had the time, right, I think if I had the, uh, if this frustrated me enough, which it probably will, and I had the inclination, I would actually go back to was it, Antigil and get some crystal balls just so I could find the towns. I don't really care too much for the treasures. Okay, thankfully he found that one. An earth pendant? Worthlessness. Okay, now where is this town? It's by this oasis. Let's say it's on this side. Stop lagging, game. I can see you lagging even though I can't hear the music. Yeah, didn't think so. I know it's here! Yes! There it is. Aliabard. No, uh, I figured Canopus would actually get to the town that he was supposed to there <laughs> that he was uh, that would give me the look where this would be. Yeah, we got a world card. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, so you want me to kill your boss, and the, to kill the boss, and then come back here. Where's Helene? I need to start you on your way up there. Okay. You head up here. Um, Lisa could try to find this last treasure, I guess. I'm not going to put too much effort into finding this treasure. Should be right about there. All right, that should be about it. We found uh, the other city there. So one, <laughs> the hard city was well hard. Um, no, I don't want to risk lowering everything. What? Thirteen white mages? Yeah, well there is. We'll deal with the zodiac stone eventually. I forget which stage we actually have to com I think it's the next stage that we actually have to complete first before we can even work on that. But, I'll figure it out. I mean, de definitely, there's no way to miss being able to do that unless you missed one of the items, which I haven't yet, so... Okay, we found the treasure. Uh, Sigmund! Alright, map is clear of stuff. So we just gotta wait for slow butt to get up there. Let's check out our weapons that we just got. Right, Hulu. That's sort of evil, my bad. Karen board. Pretty good. Sigmund. Really good. And this is just a uh, crap. Okay. Um, I will probably go through 
my army off screen, find guys who have crappy like dragon swords and give them those. Because I'm getting to the point where I don't think I'm going to recruit any more characters. As far as I well, as far as I can remember, Fogel was like the last character you get. So, um, I'm not gonna have to give anybody. I'm not gonna have to you know hold on to equipment for new guys coming in. I'm just gonna have to you know give out what I got to the characters who didn't get very good stuff when they were selected to get equipment. You know, happens. Alright, you want to get out there today? I actually like to get there during the day. Not at noon, but at least during the day when his uh, ninja magic won't do anywhere near as much. Alright, there he is. Show off the boss he's got. He's surrounded by ninjas. Regular, plain old ninjas. Um, I'm not going to use the fool card for at least the first time. I don't think that I have to. I'm just gonna show you the overpoweredness of this unit and destroy him. And get up there. Boom. Yep. Have. No, but I didn't make that choice. No, it won't, actually. <laughs> It'll just say, Empire, stop the rebels. <sighs> Cut home! Nothing too spectacular. I mean, that hurt. Yeah. Just look at- look at that. Look at- look, are you serious? That is just- ugh. And they won't take, like, damage from uh, pretty much anything. The- The dragoons, they have amazing defense, like all around. Alright. Fogel's gonna kill that guy. Now see, this is only round two. They still have two attacks each. And they've gotten rid of all the support characters. Well, with help. You want to hit the guy? That'd be great. Okay, they got three attacks to do 61 damage. So two of them are going to have to hit. Fogel! Come on! They all missed? What the hell? <laughs> oh, Lord. That was ridiculous. Lost some frames at the end there. Hopefully you didn't see that embarrassment. Um, I shouldn't need a full card this time either. Because the princess pretty much will be enough to... Destroy, you know, whatever he's got left. It's 91. That was painful! I right, that... There are no words to describe how ridiculous that seemed. They like six attacks left to take out like 150 HP, and they couldn't do it. Well, I mean, if the princess would stop missing people, what? His white defense is terrible. Why is that missing? His, ma his magic stat isn't that well. I guess it is, considering that he's doing a crap ton of damage, but. I mean, you could actually probably, if you wanted to, find a unit like this that could uh, destroy all the ninjas every time out and just level grind them off the ninjas, because they're level 20-something. Of course, to have a unit that would... Stop missing Porkion! Or Porchon. Thank you. Come on, Celeste. One guy's got to hit him. Just one. They have six chances at it. Thank you, Fenril. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you- Two! They have three chances to hit once for two HP. Are you serious? 
Oh man! The f fuck! Huh? Uh. Game? Game. Alright. I'm gonna elect to not use a full card again, as I don't really need to, because he's got 27 HP. You know, they're slowly going to die. That's what's gonna happen. My freaking... The Dragoons are slowly going to die. That's what's gonna happen. They're just gonna... <laughs> slowly pass out. Thank you! Ugh. Man, that took way too long. And we liberated Hormzusa. Yeah. It only took two minutes longer than it was supposed to. Alright, uh, since I haven't hit, you know, close to 20 minutes yet, what I'm gonna do is, after this is over, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna go see if I can see that wizard in that town. That opens up, uh, Fort Chulamana there, but our next stage is the sea. Dalma Desert. Stop with the frame loss. Uh, oh my boots. I got 12, I need to go get some more of those. I don't know if I will need them, but better to be safe than sorry. There he is. Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, it's another hero item. Gem of Dune. I believe that is the last item we need before we can start collecting. Well, not the last item, but it's the last of the three main items that we need. Before we can head back to Shangri-La. If you remember what's at Shangri-La, the shrine of the goddess Falana. You need, I think, the Quicksilver, the Gem of Dune, and I think it's the hero, yeah, the hero star. Uh, before you actually get acknowledged as a real hero. I think if we go to here. Yeah. Okay. Three what? Oh. Huh. Oh, so I guess I either missed one or I haven't. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna go take a look. All right. So one second. All right. I was a little mistaken there. Um. Once you get the Gem of Dune from, uh, what's his name there, you actually have to go back to, uh, the place where, oh, is it up here? Where's Para? Is it? Yeah, okay. You have to, uh, the Quicksilver is actually not one of the gems. You have to go back to the guy who gave you the Quicksilver, Bull Tyrannal there, and he will give you something else. Get over here. Yes, I have. Old oh, orb. Oh, okay. And then he tells you to go to the Remoto in the Ryan Sea, and you will get the third of the trio of gems you need to meet with Falana. And that gives you another item, which will then allow you to go back through all the stages to get the Zodiac Stone. I will do that as probably a bonus episode after the second part of beating St the Ryan Sea. So, that's our next step. Stop. Our next step is the Ryan Sea. So, until then, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.